No, I do tell you about the real world entities. Object oriented languages provide a framework for designing programs that represent real world entities such as cars, mobiles, human beings, insurance policies, and so on. My dear, do you get? Yes, sir. My dear Bezad, each entity in the real world can have some features such as properties or attributes and states or behavior. Example of an entity is a mobile over here. Now I do tell you about the mobile that a mobile has some properties or attributes like name, model, color and price etc. It means the name of the mobile, the model of the mobile, the color of the mobile or, and the price of the mobile are the properties or attributes of the mobile entity. Did you get Mr. Bezad? Yes, sir. And I do tell you more about the mobile. That one is a mobile might have some states or behaviors such as messaging, audio call, video call, audio and video recording, etc. My dear, it means the messaging, audio call, video call, audio and video recording, all of these things are the states or the behaviors of the mobile entity right now. Mr. Bazaar, did you get? Yes, sir. If your permission is there, do I proceed? Sure, sir. Okay. Now I do tell you another example of an entity and the example of the entity is human being. Okay, Mr. Bezad, I do tell you about the entity human being. A human being can have some properties or attributes like hands, eyes, religion, nationality, color, height and weight. A human being might have some states or behaviors such as walking, talking, eating, sleeping, singing, many things are there. And all of these things are known as the states or the behavior of a human being entity. Did you get Mr. Bezad? Yes, sir. 